Hey guys, Flight here, coming at you again with another video. This one's going to be really quick. So I get asked a lot in chat if they should use, like if, if new players should use Greed, Reroll, uh, Lock-In, YOLO, whatever it may be, right? I think the simplest way to put it is you start with Lock-In because it gives you a consistent unit, right? When you start Lock-In, you know for a fact you're always going to have one unit you can start with one unit you can build around. Um, I personally prefer for lock-ins tanks because it gives you a good base to build off of because most damage types can kind of go anywhere, right? You can always find a pierce, you can always find impact, etc. Damage-wise, it's hard to always make sure you have a swift or natural tank or whatever it may be. So I always say Yuzora, Berserker, Antler, Sand Badger are your big tank ones, and then Graro for a lock-in to allow you to, to transfer to a tier 6 if you wanted something of the sort. Um, Reroll is best used when you've got a base understanding of how synergies in the game functions. So let's say you've got 100 games, 50 games in, and you feel like, okay, I can make most any other unit in my initial lock-in roll work, but I you know, want to try to expand a little bit. I want to try to get a little different. I think redraw or reroll is what I call it, um, which can be purchased in shop here. I think it's 9,000 essence. So play the campaign, et cetera, you'll get enough. Um, that is best used when you've got a base understanding and you want to try to get some cheesy strats going. You might need to find that healing unit for, for a unit. You might need to find your pierce damage for wave 10. You might need to find that one single thing. It gives you more options for rerolls on those waves. I'd say Greed is the best unit selection type for players who are the most experienced in the game. Greed, which can also be purchased for 9,000, gives you that 10 random units and you get to select six out of, but it's pseudo random. You always get some type of magic damage, some type of tanks, like it, it's pseudo random where you always get a relatively usable roll. But that extra two income makes it so you can do some different trickery and get units out earlier that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to. Following and finally with YOLO. I do not recommend YOLO for new players until you've definitely played the game a ton or you are a masochist. YOLO is very difficult. It is truly random and you're not going to learn a whole lot about how to play the game from playing YOLOs. Um, outside of that, play through the tutorials. Make sure you understand all the units unit situations um play through campaign i think the campaign is a good ga a gauge on how different people play and then start playing ai i'd say work your way up the ai ladder and if you can win using greed against the platinum ai consistently um that's a, a super solid way to know you're you're doing good in the game um but yeah, for the most part, this is a very quick video just so that I can link something uh, in chat when people ask me what my favorite play style is and what I recommend. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If so, please give it a like. Otherwise, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.